Welcome to day two of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 18 in the Eastern Pacific and also day two in the Central Pacific. Uh, it's June the 2nd, 2013 today and we have 90L, Invest 90L in the Southern Atlantic in uh, the Southern Gulf of Mexico and we have Invest 95W which is currently just past uh, Palau in the Western Pacific. Elsewhere there is no other systems active, no current invests apart from these two 90L and 95W you can see here quite clearly in the Pacific Ocean view um, you can see 90L towards the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico low chance development for that and 95W similarly low chance of development for that one at the moment um, more on those in a moment and uh, let's go over to the Atlantic now you can see 90L there towards the very far south of the Gulf of Mexico not too much going on with it at the moment but that may change over the next few days or with, with that system or with a system that may be associated with something that occurs with 90L over the next few days. It was uh, very much a wait and see game here. And in the Indian Ocean, uh, things are quiet at the moment with no invest active, um, but there are a few areas of perhaps a little bit disturbances in the uh, central part of the Bay of Bengal and the uh, Arabian Sea, a few a bit of cloud cover that may develop into something. Let's look at the sea surface temperatures then. Um, as always, the eastern Pacific is fairly warm at the moment, 28 degrees plus. In the Atlantic, many areas 27 degrees plus uh, in Celsius. In the Indian Ocean as well, uh, some areas over 30 degrees. And along the eastern Indian coast, even 32 degrees or higher. In the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea as well, we're looking at temperatures of over 30 degrees, which is certainly enough for storm development. So looking at Invest 90L and Currently with wind speeds of 25 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,008 millibars. Looking at the um, current forecast, there isn't much of one to be honest because going off model ones which conflict with each other. But the best um, sort of track that we can come up with is a, perhaps a slow gradual movement towards the uh, east-northeast over the next few days. But that may happen more quickly or more slowly or in some other way unexpectedly um, over the next few days. You can see the uh, satellite loop here of the Gulf of Mexico. Um, in this colour satellite imagery here, day and night, you can see uh, the, the uh, clouds associated with Invest 90L towards the uh, southern Gulf of Mexico waxing and raining throughout the day there. Um, and another system you saw there near Cuba which may have a little bit of a role in what happens in the next few days. You can see Invest 95W here, just past Palau, not too much going on with it anymore. Um, sort of lost its way a little bit with um, clouds fizzling out um, en masse at the moment as you can see there. So let's now go over to the model ones. The CMC here is developing two systems in the Atlantic, one forming near the Bahamas curving off to the northeast and another one which may be Invest 90L, making landfall in Florida and then uh, along the Georgia-South Carolina border. And then the ECMWF here um, predicting something slightly similar with a storm system moving through Florida and then becoming... Um, definitely um, going across the South Carolina, North Carolina, straddling the coastline there. Uh, the GFS has uh, not quite so clear, but you can see a storm perhaps detaching from the um, current system and moving through Florida off to the northeast. Uh, quite difficult to tell there. And the nav gem for the US Navy is currently showing a little bit of a low pressure system, uh, not giving away too much in terms of what may happen over the next few days, I wouldn't have thought. Um, so let's take a look at the Predictor season scores for June the 2nd, 2013. Of course, there were no new storms, no new hurricanes or anything like that, so uh, the scores remain unchanged. And don't forget, you can submit your own um, prediction at any time on the Force 13 website. Just go to Predictor Season 2013. You can probably search it on Google or wherever, and it should be one of the first ones on the list. It takes you straight to the page where you can predict your season. Um, predict what's going to go on. No prizes unfortunately because uh, I'm not a very wealthy person but uh, it's just for fun and I think um, it'll be very exciting to see what scores win, what score wins, what predictions will win towards the end. On this day, June the 2nd, 1975, Tropical Storm Agatha formed in the Eastern Pacific, Tropical Depression 1 formed and dissipated in the Eastern Pacific the next year, Alberto formed in the Atlantic in 1982, Boris formed in the Eastern Pacific in 1990, Depression 1 turned coast tropical in the Atlantic in 1993, four years later, and the named subtropical storm also turned coast tropical. Typhoon Marie became coast tropical in the Western Pacific, Tropical Storm Barry turned coast tropical over Florida in 2007, and Cyclone Fett peaked as a Category 4 storm in the Indian Ocean in 2010. Don't forget you can track any storm that forms on the Force 13 website forward slash stormtracking.html. That'll take you straight to the page 
Um, it should also be linked in the uh, in the video description below this video, and uh, you can find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook, and Twitter. Just search Force 13. You should find it easily enough. And don't forget to show your support. Uh, if you so wish, by liking, following, and subscribing on the uh, YouTube, of course, um, you can become number 393, I believe.